Center for Youth Studies presents For Tomorrow's Sake, a radio drama serial that examines how our attitudes, patterns of behavior, and lifestyles can and do boomerang for good or evil. Today's episode is titled One Wrong Turn. It is written and produced by Shei Sonja Bankole and directed by Austin Awulonu. One Wrong Turn. can be happening to me. There must be some mistake. Can I help you? Are you alright? Uh, no, uh, I'm okay. I was... Uh, I'm on my way to Dr. Kadije. I'm sorry I mistakenly opened your door. Wait a minute. Sure you don't need some help? No, I... I... Isn't that a lab re report you're clutching in your hand? Was it a blood test you had done? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I mean... Uh, I really... I have to be going, thanks. You sure I can't help you, miss? Bile, Bile Amos. Yes. Uh, no, no. I'm Bukola Ajayi, matron in this clinic. I think I have an idea of what your problem is. Pardon me? You're pregnant, aren't you, Bile Amos? I can help. I'm a member of a voluntary organization that ministers to young, unwed mothers to be. We have a place we call the shelter. That was Dr. Kadije's door. I can't let you see him before. Excuse me, Mrs. Ajayi. Why are you blocking my way? If you see Kadije with that lab report, he'll refer you to his private clinic for an abortion. You mustn't do that, Bile. Excuse me. Please get out of my way, Mrs. Ajayi. Not till I'm through. Abortion will relieve you of the burden of an unwanted pregnancy. But it won't end there, Bile. I want to get out, please. Not yet. What will happen one of those tomorrows that you have when it all comes back to you? I, I want to get out. Have this baby for tomorrow's sake, Billy. Not for the today you can see. Oh, Khadija, you won't have an abortion when he offers you one. <laughs> Cleo, it go good make you go read for your room and let me enjoy my music. Tan, come and see this design. This is the one I told Jabba to get for me. Mm. Hmm. You two want to enjoy cocaine money, eh, Cleo? Eh, eh. If not joke, I beg, stop, Pam. Don't worry. When NDLEA catch up with Jabba, they will pack all your clothes, auction them as passing a drug money by them. Ouch! Are you taking this stuff too? I'll kill you, Tanya. Cleo, I better go and meet your Dr. Joshua and let me enjoy my musical. Yee, I nearly forgot. Let me quickly go. Why? Why are you doing this, Mrs. Ajayi? You don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I came at you like a steamroller, Billy. Bad habit of mine. <laughs> you can call me Auntie Buki, but let me give you my card for the shelter. The shelter? That's what we call our office for Choose Life. The voluntary organization. I'll also get some information from you if you'd like to use our services. It's all so overwhelming. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll help you, Billy. God will help you. Oh, God. <laughs> Come in. 
What can I do for you, Miss Kanayo? I just saw the results on the notice board. Are you trying to tell me that someone else graded our papers? Of course not. I did. Then why did I get a D, Dr. Josh? That was all I could afford to give you, Cleo. I told you I wanted nothing less than a B. I'm sorry, Cleo. That's the way it goes. Maybe if you could make it this evening, I'll do better next semester. Next semester? You must be joking, Dr. Josh. <laughs> you want a B without studying for it. <laughs> Yes, Doctor. Atego is supposed to handle the referral documents for Mr. Bala, not Kwame. I'm doing some sexuality education here for one of our teenagers. <laughs> I love this job. Sorry. Duty called. Where were we? Um, you said every month in a woman, a ripe egg or ovum is released from one of the egg sacs, also called ovaries. This is called ovulation. Bilemos! You're taking notes? Auntie Buki. If I had known about ovulation and the other things you said you want to talk about, I wouldn't be here pregnant at 19 in year 3 at the university and scared stiff of what my life will turn out to be. You're right. Well, the released egg travels into the fallopian tube. Now, just before ovulation, the mucus in the cervix, that is the neck of the womb, becomes thinner which means that the mucus in the cervix is usually thick. Correct. It's kind of like a hostile act by the uterus or womb to prevent pregnancy. Seems every part of our body has a sense of self-preservation. <laughs> Quite true. Anyway, around ovulation, the mucus thins, which makes it easier for the sperm deposited during intercourse to swim up this canal. At this time, the lining of the womb has also thickened, kind of creating a bed for the fertilized egg to be implanted. I have heard that after the sperm is deposited at intercourse, most of the sperm leak out, but some swim up through the cervix, then into the fallopian tube. Indeed. It is in this fallopian tube that the egg is fertilized. What if the egg is not fertilized by a sperm? In the instance that sex did not take place. The egg passes out of the body through the vagina without being noticed. The lining of the womb eventually crumbles and is shed as the monthly menstrual period. I see. Tomorrow, say Come in. Yes, Miss Kanayo. What can I do for you again? I really think you made a mistake with that D you gave me, Dr. Josh. Look here, Cleo. I've told you to forget that issue. Let's concentrate on next semester's grade. Next semester? I don't think so. Your wife would not appreciate hearing this over the campus radio. What is in that cassette? One of our trees here in your office. It's all on tape. None of my customers on Allen Avenue has demanded as much of me as you did. It's all in here. What? Are you trying to blackmail me? Me? Blackmail? <laughs> I didn't get their good pride for the services rendered. I just want my dues. I can't change this grade, Cleo. Then I'm sorry, Dr. Josh. Wait. I will see the course coordinator. I'll wait here for you. I could kill you for this. Please go ahead. A copy of this tape is with someone. If I don't turn up in the next one or two hours, it goes to your wife, then the police. I have written out details that will be very helpful for the investigation. What? The clock is ticking, Dr. Josh. You are evil, Cleo Kanayo. No, Dr. Josh. Just smart. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea if I had your child. You are the best customer I've had in a year. You must be completely crazy. You have been listening to One Wrong Turn, another episode in our drama serial, For Tomorrow's Sake. 
it came to you courtesy of the Center for Youth Studies. You heard Nkechi Oko as Cleo, Tess Kikelomo Oke as Bile, Neka Kujobi as Bukola, Miriam Adegoke as Tanya, and Edmond Enaibe as Dr. Josh. For Tomorrow's Sake was written and produced by Shei Sonja Bankole. Glory Williams was sound engineer, while Austin Awolono directed. Email your comments and questions to Center for Youth Studies at St. Figo 4, that is Center for Youth Studies at yahoo.com or send text to 080-827-20297 080-827-20297 For Tomorrow's Sake is a production of the Center for Youth Studies. Join us same time next week for another interesting episode. Say